About 10 years ago, Sandy Pangle got some bad news. He was diagnosed with diabetes. His initial reaction was fairly typical. There was the denial phase, and then uh, went for some more testing, and it came back positive. And, and then there was anger, and, and there was fear, and not really knowing what direction that I was gonna go. I am an engineer, so I tend to wanna organize and then fix things, and I went into a phase of educating myself, and I knew that diet and exercise, along with medicine, would be my path to take. And the exercise that he embraced, okay, shall we go, was cycling. Not just a recreational ride now and then, Sandy has taken his passion for biking and put it to work, raising lots of money. For the past nine years, he's been part of the American Diabetes Association's top charity rides, known as Tour de Cure. Today, Sandy's taking part in a regular weekly group ride to get ready. It's a one-day event. We have five routes that go with our event. We have a 100-mile, a 62, a 40, a 25, and a 10, which is our family fun ride. So we get all kinds of riders that come out, We're from seasoned riders who ride every weekend to people who are just getting started in cycling. There are close to 90 Tour de Cure challenges nationwide each year. Each participant has to raise $200 to be part of the event, but many raise even more. And the ride is carefully staffed. Every 10 miles, we have a rest stop that is fully staffed with bike mechanics, and we also have medics at every rest stop, as well as great volunteers that are cheering everybody on. And some of those cheers go to a special group of riders. I'm a member also of a group called Red Riders. I'll ride in a, a jersey that identifies me as diabetic. And one of the things of the tour is when you ride by a diabetic or when you one rides by you, then you yell, go Red Rider. And so you've got that constant reinforcement of this is for you, you know, on the ride, so that's special. The American Diabetes Association says the Tour de Cure events raise millions for education and research. For Sandy, the ride has multiple benefits. It's the camaraderie of the team. Out on the road, you, you meet people, you ride beside people, and you may be riding beside a 75-year-old man that's out doing the same mileage that you are, and, and he's diabetic. And, and it tells me there's hope, you know, that, that I'm on the right path and that, that there can be results from what I'm doing. And it just, it, it's, uh, it's a power pill for you. He credits cycling for keeping his diabetes in check. Clear left. And Sandy hopes he can be a positive role model for others. I'm a larger frame guy. I'm 57 years old. And just to let the people that are younger, that maybe are newly diagnosed, realize, you know, hey, this old guy's out doing this. You know, this diabetes is not a death sentence. It's just a, uh, it's a life challenge. A challenge he seems to be handling well, mile by mile. Adam McCoy, CNN.